Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and this episode is about papers with code. So that's a great service. Uh, I've known about it for quite some time, but actually only recently I started to use it on a daily basis uh, because it's actually great for searching papers which has actual code and which you can use it and find on GitHub. Uh, and this is perfect. So the authors actually of the service scanned like 60,000 articles on machine learning and they keep on scanning, uh, I guess, taking things from archive and looking at different uh, GitHub resources to connect with them. And the, the work is really great because it often happens that you have this amazing paper, I don't know, coming from Google, but then suddenly it appears that there's no implementation, you can't find any code, there is no model you can download or and play around, and you can't train it by yourself because you don't have this kind of resources. So this is something which happens very often. And here you can have actually all the models, everything that you find on the service is actually to be downloaded for free, open sourced on uh, GitHub. So that's really amazing when you want to play with the most recent models. Uh, and there are a bunch of statistics, there are a bunch of parameters that you can play around with because, for example, you can look at uh, how different model performs, there are def different statistics for different domains, uh, and it's really, really easy to search uh, the whole engine because you basically uh, put like the general terms, like for example, you want to have something with text summarization or video generation or audio generation. There are stuff like that where you can uh, just put general term and then see what kind of papers you get. You get those papers and then you ca can compare within the whole framework of the website, actually different bunch of statistics uh, to how this model compares to each other, uh, what's better, what's worse. So that's really, really great. And then, and then again, the best part is that you have already a GitHub account that you can go to and see the model and download that from. So uh, you'll be only searching for the models which already have GitHub uh, code somehow attached to it. So, so that's really great. And thank you for watching this episode. So I wanted to share the, this news because I think like this fantastic service uh, and everybody should use it to some extent. I think they're getting more automation on the site. So that means that probably they will be even able to scan even more, uh, more papers soon. Um, and that's really great. I, I'm really uh, keeping my fingers crossed for, for the whole uh, endeavor here. Uh, it's a fantastic job. Uh, and I hope to use it even more in the future. Uh, and also in the next episodes, I probably start uh, reviewing some other resources I'm using from archive to different books to GitHub and how I use it, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, let's keep in touch. Please subscribe to my channel. That's, that's really important uh, for the whole growing of the whole channel. And see you in the next episode.